press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi students, yesterday we started the cross product in the previous video. Let us see, you come to know the expression for cross product as A cross B equal to AB sin theta into N. This gives you the magnitude and the direction is given by two rules. One is called right hand thumb rule and another is right hand screw rule. So that both direction as good as magnitude you understood. And now we are have to know about the characteristics when we apply into the physics concept. So the characteristic is it is a vector, it has both magnitude and direction. And next A cross B is not equal to B cross A, therefore cross product is not commutative, but dot product is commutative. Similarly, A cross B plus C equal to A cross B plus A cross C. I told you that in the previous video, strictly order of the vectors should be maintained. If any changes you did, that cannot obey also. Distributive law also fails. And when theta is 0 or 180, angle between the two vectors become 0 or 180. That means the two vectors are acting parallel. Then the vector product is vanishes. That means I can say self cross product, self cross product, that means A cross A is 0 or B cross B is 0, self dot product vanishes. A dot A dot product has maximum, A dot A is A square, B dot B is B square, but here it becomes 0, self dot cross product is 0. And again, you come to know theta 90 a cross b become maximum at 90 degree if angle between them is 90 then it become maximum i told you if you asked to find the unit vector which is acting perpendicular to both end a and b you have to come for the cross product if you want the direction unit vector of a and b perpendicular to both then you can use the a cross b by magnitude of a cross b gives you the value of n and then I told you A cross B equal to A cross B to A 90 degree. A cross B and B, A cross B and vector A, A cross B and vector B, A cross B and resultant A plus B or A minus B. In all cases it is 90 degree. But A cross B and B cross A are opposite 180 degree to each other. So with this again here you are taken A cross B become maximum and A B theta vanishes. Therefore, coming to your orthogonal vectors, orthogonal vectors i, j, k, i along x, along y unit vector j, along k unit vector k. So, i to i, you come to know one thing, i cross i, j cross j, k cross k becomes 0, vanishes because angle between i to i, i to i 0, j to j 0, k to k 0, that does not exist. Whereas come to the second, so I can show with a circle better, you will follow it clockwise or anti-clockwise. This is the position of k and this is i and this may be j. If we move in this direction, the product leading to plus, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. If we move like this, sorry, anti-clockwise, if we move clockwise, this negative. That means if you go from K to I, because it is perpendicular, if I take this as I, J, K, see I, J, go to K. J, K go to I, K, I go to J. That means if you have K dot I, K cross I go to J plus, J cross K comes to I plus, K cross again J cross K is I, I cross J is K plus. But if you come in the clockwise order, clockwise order, J cross I minus K, 
i cross k minus j k cross j minus if you move in this direction more positive suppose you are moving in this direction it is negative k cross j minus i j cross i minus k i cross k minus j if you move like i cross j plus k j cross k plus i because it is going perpendicular you are product of two vectors when you multiplying i j k come j k i comes k i j comes because always product is perpendicular to the two vectors you take therefore i can write in the second case if i move from i cross j i cross j can be written as k i cross j i cross j go to k and take clockwise i cross j similarly j cross k j cross k is i and k cross i is going to be j get it or if you come to i cross k sorry j cross i here itself i change if you write j cross i if coming like this j cross i clockwise minus k similarly k cross j k cross j minus i and i cross k minus j i cross k is minus j i think you are understood anti clockwise moving any two vectors you take unit vectors the third one appears k cross i j i j k j k i anti clockwise plus if you are coming clockwise j i k i k j k j i clockwise mode take negative value out whichever two vectors you taken comes the third one whether positive or negative decide by the direction of motion whether you moving anti clockwise you put positive value if you are moving clockwise from first to second vector first to second vector then minus so this is the unit vector concept how the orthogonal unit vectors are operating if i cross i self act cross product vanishes in these two cases when become positive or negative any two vectors first vector to second vector cross product if it is moving anti clockwise appears third if you have ij k comes j k i comes k i j comes if you are moving anti clockwise plus if you are moving clockwise minus you can easily remember this without any difficulty so coming to this again this vector product can be expressed in terms of determinants so maybe you have learned in high school only one application particularly i take here use of determinants to get the solutions in physics so with this let us i hope you are followed the characteristic and two extension i did today self cross product is zero and again extend it to the vectors you know orthogonal vectors ijk how to find out coming to the next part so the next characteristic cross product of two vectors can be expressed in the form of determinants for this example let us take vector a vector a equal to ax i plus ay j plus az k and another vector b bx i by j 
plus bz k suppose you want magnitude of sorry cross product of k and b cross product of a cross b a cross b in the form of determinants it is easy to get the expression i j and k the three unit vectors orthogonal unit vectors first vector a which one first you take first here ax ay ez second vector bx by bz so we express the components x y z in determinant form now the solution for this is x component comes this column you leave and product of these two take that means ay bz ay bz minus by az into i vector i see how to leave this column if you are want to find the x component ay bz minus by az minus j component minus j component into so you have to leave this ax bz ax bz minus bx az into j component let at the end you write better plus leaving the k this third column ax by minus bx ay into k this is the solution you will have for the cross product a cross b directly in the form of otherwise every time you have to multiply with i then i to i 0 i to j i to k then again i j j to i j to j 0 j to k plus or minus everything you have to go on look into that made simplified with this determinant rule so the i component you required leave that column cross product ay bz by az minus i middle column leave put minus here ax bz bx ay third column for z component leave that column first to take ax by minus bx ay into k hence your work is over suppose you want the magnitude of this if you want the magnitude of that a cross b magnitude so you know x y z components i j k components you have square them a y i think space not enough there a cross b magnitude root of this a y b y a y b z minus b y a z whole square plus a x b z minus b x a z whole square plus a x b y minus b x a y whole square gives you the magnitude of the cross product of two vectors it is a cross product directly comes which has magnitude and direction if you only want the magnitude so first find out this and get the magnitude so that is what vector i told if you want a vector unit vector perpendicular to a and b a cross b means this value this value is a cross b we obtain magnitude of a cross b means this value if you take the ratio of this and this you will get the unit vector in the direction perpendicular to a or b 
with this knowledge what cross product is and characteristics when vanishes when exist and how the direction can be we can see some problems to get the idea about how this vector operates vector product operates in physics we seen in case of the dot product and now coming to the cross product examples i hope you are followed what cross product is come to the problems some application i coming to let us see there is a vector a and another vector is b you studied the parallelogram to get the resultant is r but you know the area of that if i called it as h and this magnitude as a vector a and what you write for h if theta is the angle between them tell me if theta is the angle if it is b magnitude of b opposite side by hypotenuse h gives you b sin theta b sin theta so what is the expression for area of a parallelogram area of parallelogram you know base area into height base area into height a is a only h is b sin theta what you got is ab a b sin theta is nothing but a cross b what the conclusion we drawn from that a cross b magnitude of the cross product of two vectors if the two vectors are represented as two adjacent sides of a parallelogram if the two vectors are represented as a adjacent sides of parallelogram then magnitude of cross product of those two vectors gives you the area of the parallelogram containing a and b are the two vectors adjacent side so one fine answer we have the application level of this cross product a cross b magnitude of a cross b what it gives means immediately you have to say it gives you the area of the parallelogram where a and b are the two adjacent sides of the parallelogram let us also i come to the second application area of a triangle area of a triangle usually we write half into base into height now consider the triangle now this is the vector a and this is the vector b and this angle is theta and if i take this as the height again what you write h this base equal to a no doubt base equal to a what is h opposite side by hypotenuse h is equal to b sin theta substitute half into a b sin theta what is a b sin theta is again you come to know it is the magnitude of the cross product of two vectors yes we got another application half the cross product value half the cross product value 
gives you the area of the triangle where a and b are the two sides of the triangle where a and b are the two sides of the triangle then area of the triangle can be obtained as half the cross product of a and b so remember this they are very important tools and coming to the third one area of par parallelogram parallelogram can also be written in terms of its diagonals in terms of the diagonals that half into d1 into d2 if d1 and d2 are the diagonals of the parallelogram how i show you here i just remove is not available to us i think you are understood it how you got this by this idea and how the area of the triangle is half the cross product of two vectors area of parallelogram is cross product of two vectors so i just remove these two to show that because more simple not more step and complicated and easy to understand let this is the vector a and this the vector b complete the parallelogram this you are writing as a d1 angle may be theta d1 is a one diagonal passing through this that is a plus b d1 diagonal equal to vector sum of a plus b a plus b is this diagonal if i take diagonal from that as a d2 this is tip to tip i join tip to tip minus b tip to tip can be joined and this become d2 d2 is this if i shifted also it is a a minus b gives you this d2 started from here started from here a to b minus b you reach here this is d2 so that means d2 equal to a minus b d2 equal to a minus b now dot product cross product of two right d1 cross d2 a plus b cross product of a minus b so if i a cross a a cross a plus so minus a cross a a cross a minus a cross b don't change the order a cross a minus a cross b plus b cross a b cross a minus b cross b you know self dot product vanish zero self sorry self cross product is zero self cross product is zero so minus a cross b this also i can write minus a cross b b cross a equal to minus a cross b or minus 2 a cross b equal to d1 cross d2 or d1 cross d2 magnitude equal to 2 into magnitude of a cross b i remove the negative sign magnitude comparison did what is a cross b now area of the parallelogram a cross b if i write it is area of the parallelogram this is equal to a cross b i can write no doubt from this relation a cross b equal to 1 by 2 into d1 d2 d1 cross d2 half d1 cross d2 equal to a cross b where this a cross b is equal to area of the parallelogram so please remember these three relations which helping you to get the direct solutions in physics problems one magnitude of the cross product gives you the parallelogram where two vectors are adjacent sides of a parallelogram the second 
the area of the triangle can be obtained by the cross product where half into cross product of a and b half of cross product of a and b gives you the area of the triangle if you know the diagonals of the parallelogram of the vectors a and b then half the cross product of diagonals cross product of diagonals of the parallelogram half into 50% of that half into d1 cross d2 gives you the area of the parallelogram this is an application point i expressed you with this let come to the problem So let us come to the example one. Find the unit vector find the unit vector perpendicular to vector A two I plus three J plus K and b equal to i minus j plus k i minus j plus k so unit vector perpendicular when asked the solution part is n equal to a cross b by a cross b magnitude for this to find, what you have to do is use the concept of determinants. A cross B equal to I, J, K. Coefficient of those I vector, J vector and K vector. 1, minus 1 and 1. Say it is 2, 3, 1. 1 minus 1, 1. Let how much it comes. If I want I, I, I column leave. I column leave 3 into 1 is 3 minus 1 into 1 minus 1. I think you are followed. You leave this 3 into 1 minus this minus of minus plus after it comes minus j you want. Leave this 2 into 1 is 2 minus 1 into 1 is 1 plus k you require. k leave that 2 into 1 minus 2, 2 into 1, minus 3, 3 into 1, 3. So how much it become A cross B? 3 plus 1, 4 I. 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, minus, plus 1 inside, minus remains, minus J, minus 5 K. I think you are followed, you got this answer. Now magnitude required. Second step, A cross B, magnitude means root of 4 square, this plus minus 1 square, second, plus minus 5 square is the third. So square root, if calculated, 16 plus 1 plus 25, square root of 5 plus 1, 6, 6, 12, 3 plus 1, 4, 42. Now the question comes unit vector, third step, A cross B by A cross B magnitude, this equal to 4i minus j minus 5k divided by root 42 is the answer. So importance is finding this value. 
very carefully here leaving this first 3 into 1 minus this product leaving the middle minus value 2 into 1 this product minus leaving this minus 2 minus 3 but it is minus so I think you are followed let's go to the next one See an important type example appeared in your entrance papers. If root 3 into A cross B magnitude equal to A dot B magnitude, find angle between A and B. 3 root 3 a cross b dot a dot b. So, I can write a cross b by a dot b equal to a b sin theta by a b cos theta is nothing but tan theta. a b b cancels, but a cross b by a dot b according to this is equal to 1 by root 3. Am I right? A cross b, a dot b, take other side. So, therefore, theta equal to tan inverse of 1 by root 3. Angle between a and b, you got theta equal to 30 degree. Because you know tan inverse of 1 by root 3 is 30 tan inverse of root 3 is 60 degree. I, I think you have understood this concept, how we got angle between A and B using the cross product idea. Let us come to the another one. So, small change I do and another problem I create here instead of root 3 there question is slightly changed from that. If a cross b equal to root 3 times this find the value of find the value of a plus b find the value of a plus b so that you want a plus b question is on a plus b they are asking a plus b value of a plus b magnitude equal to root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta, but cos theta is required. You are not having that. To find theta, we have to take this. From this, let us take a cross b as earlier divided by a dot b. You got ab sin theta by ab cos theta and this is equal to tan theta. But this is equal to root 3 in this case because a cross b by a dot b is root 3 which suggests theta is equal to tan inverse of root 3 gives theta equal to 60 degree. 
So I hope this you followed here. Now 60 degree answer you got it. Now substitute in this. A plus B magnitude equal to root of A square plus B square plus 2AB cos 60. This may be written as root of A square plus B square plus AB. Because cos 60 is half, 2 to cancels. This 2 cancel with this cos 60. A square plus B square plus AB. Hence, this is the answer. Out of the four options, you will get the right one. An appeared question in entrance. So, that you are followed here. How to get given this condition? They find the magnitude of this A plus B. You got that one. Let us go to the another. See the next example, adjacent sides of a parallelogram, adjacent sides of a parallelogram are vector p equal to 2i minus 3j plus k and vector q is equal to 2i plus 4j plus k. What is the area of parallelogram? Question on area of parallelogram how much? So, know any solution directly for you. Area of parallelogram how can find area of parallelogram is equal to here this case is p cross q magnitude you have to get the p cross q magnitude you will get the answer how to get the magnitude again first find out p cross q then we can go for the magnitude use ijk put x and y x component minus 3 of first vector, k component is 1, 2 minus 3, 1, 2, 4, 1. I think you are understood here, 2 minus 3, 1, 2, 4, 1 correspondingly. What I can write here is, first you leave it, what happens to i? Minus 3 into 1 is minus 3, minus 2 into 1 is 2, 2, 2 in, leaving this, sorry, minus 3 into 1 is minus 3. And leaving this 4 into 1 is 4, 4 minus j, leave the middle, 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into 1 is minus 2, this 2 into 1, 2 into 1, plus k, k leave that, 2 into 4 is 8, minus, 2 into 3 is minus 6, 2 into 4, 8, 2 into minus, minus 6, that. So, this become minus 7i, this vanishes 0j, 2 minus 2, 8 plus 6, 14 plus 14k. Now, area means you want magnitude of that, root of, this is the vector you got p cross q. If you want magnitude, it takes minus 7, minus 7 whole square plus 14 whole square, j unit is 0, leave it. I think you are understood here. So, then coming to this is root of 49 plus 196. So, this become 965, 15 plus 9 plus 4, 13 plus 1, 14, 245. Answer is 245 unit area of the parallelogram. So, they given the two vectors. You cannot keep your hand on the head and wait. 
just you go for the area of parallelogram as p cross q using the determinants find the vector using the root forum calculate the value let us go to another For a body, for a body, angular momentum, angular momentum omega is given as I minus 2j plus 3k and radius vector R equal to I plus J plus K. Find linear velocity of the system. Find linear velocity. So coming to solution, linear velocity of the body. They are given in the vector. Velocity is also vector, those two are vectors, you can take omega cross r. Omega cross r is equal to v. So right, omega cross r means, so now ijk. 1 minus 2 plus 3. 1, 1, 1, ijk, all are 1. Now what happens for i? Leave this, I leave, take these two, minus 2 and minus 3, minus j, leave the middle, 1 into 1, 1, minus 3 into 1 is 3, plus something k, leave that, 1 into 1 is 1, minus 2, minus of minus 2, now velocity equal to minus 5 minus 5 i 3 1 minus 2 minus of minus plus 2 j this 2 plus 1 3 plus 3 k unit just you want velocity vector velocity vector as omega cross r given omega and r using the determinants very easy to first column leave product of this minus this for second minus j middle leave the extreme to one minus the other. For last column leave one into one minus this. So then simplify vector form finish. Come to the next one. Suppose we given the force component, force on a body as 2i plus 3j minus k and radius vector as radius vector as i minus j plus 6k. Asking the torque acting on it is how much? Question is to find the torque on the body. It's to find the torque, rotational force is R cross F. That means determinants use I, J, K. 2, 3, minus 1. For second, 1, minus 1, 6. Let come to that. First I, leave this, 3 into 6, 18, minus 1 into 1 is 1, 
minus j near the middle 2 into 6 12 minus minus 1 plus k k leave that one 2 into 1 minus 2 minus 3 into 1 3 i think you are understanding it first you come to i leave that this product minus this product that 1 into 1 minus into minus plus therefore it is minus 1 and j leave this column 2 into 6 this into this minus 1 for k column leave that 2 into minus 1 minus 3 into 1 so now its vector torque equal to 18 minus 1 is 17 i 12 plus 1 is minus 13 j because this become plus plus outside is minus again it is minus 3 to 5 k this is the expression for torque you are having the four options which one is right you have to search in that which I selected only appeared questions in the entrance papers coming to the next Next example, if vector A equal to I plus J plus K and another vector B is 3I only, form two sides of a triangle, form two sides of a triangle ABR. Find the area of the triangle. Find area of the triangle how much? You know already I showed you area of triangle equal to half into A cross B. Half into A cross B. First you find out A cross B, then we can find the magnitude. Use determinants is more simple rule for this. First vector 1, 1, 1. Second vector is 3. Others 2 are 0. That right I, first column leave, 1, 0, 0, 0. Cancel, 0. Minus J, leave the middle, 1, 0 is 0 minus 1 0 is 0 minus 3 into 1 is 3 plus k into leave this 1 0 is 0 1 0 is 0 3 into 1 is 3 minus 3 you come to know see first column left 1 0 0 1 cancel middle column leave 1 0 is 0 3 into 1 is 3 so last column leave 1 0 is 0 minus 3 into 1 is 1. So what we got is here, leave it minus of minus is plus 3j and it is minus 3k. What is the magnitude you want is half into root of 3 square minus 3 square. 3 square plus minus 3 square. 1 by 2 into 3 square 3 square. I can 3 I bring out it become root 2 because 3 square 3 square when I bring out it become root 2 then I can write this as 3 by root 2 because root 2 into 3 divided by root 2 into root 2 I can write you can return as root 2 into root 2 therefore 1 root 2 cancels final answer is this 3 by root 2 is the area of the triangle I think you are followed how helpful the determinants in cross product works for you to get the solutions in problems. So another one appeared simple question, if the angle between 
if the angle between a and b is theta a and b is theta then value of product then value of product b cross a dot a is how much question is so first you think b cross a in that the angle between a and b is theta let us say take the same how you have constructed earlier a and b if it is b it is a now this is a cross b so this it is a it is b it is a cross b a cross b dot a question is what is the angle between a cross b a is here theta is 90 degree you come to know a cross b and a angle between a cross b and a is 90 degree this is how much means b cross a b cross a you can take it downward if it is b cross a also no worry this is also 90 degree it is upward it is downward only 90 degree no no straight it is in the plane perpendicular b a is in the plane of the board this angle is 90 degree so therefore b into a b a into cos 90 so the value of dot product is zero answer is zero because angle between b cross a and a is 90 degree cos 90 is zero therefore answer is zero So next one simple question, a force F equal to 6i minus 8j plus 10k Newton produces an acceleration of produces an acceleration of 2 meter per second square in a body in a body find its mass f equal to m a so what they given let us think in the problem they given the force f equal to 6i minus 8j plus 10k and acceleration is 2 meter per second square and they given f equal to ma therefore they are asking about mass mass is nothing but f by a how to get f magnitude of f square root of that divided by a directly what is magnitude of this is 6 square plus minus 8 square plus 10 square. So this A is 2. So that become, so it is 36 plus 64 plus 100 plus 100 by 2. This become 200 square root by 2. If I can return it as 10 into root 2, because 100 into 2, inside 100 into 2 is root 2 10 by 2. 
or it is 5 root 2 is the answer. 5 root 2 kg is the mass. I think given F, given acceleration, asking about mass. F by A. Find magnitude of this 6 square plus minus 8 square plus 10 square by 2. Hence you got the answer 5 root 2 kg. Yes. With this I am concluding here today's class. So one one before that one homework I will assign you. Try this and let us see in the next class. That. I am giving a homework. Formula is known to you. Leaving you to get the answer. Diagonals of the parallelogram. Diagonals of the parallelogram are respectively are respectively vectors p equal to phi i minus 4j plus 3k and vector q equal to 3i plus 2j minus k find area of parallelogram you know area of parallelogram relation if they are given the diagonals p cross q where p and q are the diagonals use the determinants find p cross q and Apply the square root, get this magnitude. Substitution. If the given diagonal area of the parallelogram is half into cross product of the diagonal of the parallelogram gives the area. Try this as a practice for you to get the cross product values. So, dear students, long way we come in mathematical tools starting from the quadratic equation to this vectors. But I separated vectors when started, I told you it is in your syllabus. I am not completely covered the vectors because relative velocity when comes in two dimension and one dimension, more applications and more fascinating questions are appearing in that, where you feel very, very happy in getting the solutions using this vector algebra. But most basic concepts, what vectors you need, what is vector? and what are the types of vectors when you call a physical quantity as a vector and vector addition, vector subtraction, vector resolution, vector product as a vector with scalar and vector into vector as a scalar product, vector into vector as a cross product or vector product. We long way but most important tools these are all. All the tools very 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 important for us in physics because if a strong base of this don't neglect from the beginning i am repeatedly telling the knowledge of this mathematics is very much essential once you become very strong in this basic idea then physics become very very simple very every derivation every problem needs these all the tools one or the other we use to get the solutions therefore even and often when you are feeling free, where you are not understood properly, go through the videos and confirm what actually the concept says. Thank you and wish you best of success for getting this knowledge to enter into the physics. But in the vector, starting from what vector mean, what are the types of vectors and uh, one derivation we did around the parallelogram law expression and definition and characteristic properties of the dot product cross product, these are all one, two, three mark questions are coming, one or mark, one mark or two mark or three mark questions coming in the board examination. A brief chapter under mathematical tool related to the board examination of first PUC I covered, but application is concerned. So the, for example, if we take it as in a one dimensional motion, relative motion, in two dimensional motion, relative motion. When we enter to one dimensional motion and two dimensional motion problems, we take up those. Because it, I feel it is difficult for you to catch those points here 
and only basic and simple questions I took to explain the vector concept. But in one dimension again we use this and two dimension all chapters, but practically in the board exam the questions are coming under the vector in one and two dimensions theory also. So however, I wish you all success for this and continue with the spirit following the videos. Makre, nimige bada dius galinda, helta bandide, long way now mathematics ali bandideve. But the mathematics yen no didri, idu complete namig yen mathematics beku physics an arthamar korike. Bada mukiwagi namig yen gotidre physics sulabagate. Entrance nali, bada makro new, bada stu makro new anta lelaru, physics kasta, physics kasta anta badar tirtare. What dar tare? New bada budivan tirtri, the drala, question would like barate. Yen keli daran te gotta gatte. Yen ala koti daran te gotta gatte. Physical quantities in ala list up martiri. Formula barta de. Substitution mar kore khokti ve. Sikha kolta irti ve. Simple heli de nimi ge. Addition irbo do, subtraction irbo do, multiplication irbo do. Aogalan kuda speed up mar kore kari. Yendo kuda manieli ni solve mar be kare. Don't depend on log book or calculators. Others to avoid mar di. Free hand, free mind in da. निम्नगिरो नॉलेज मत अदना स्पीड अप मार कोड़े किरो दारी अद वंदे ये स्टेप फिजिक्स प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व मार बे करे ट्राई इतना मारी फाइनल उन आंसर एक बन्नी सरिया उत्तर पो वेरीफाई मार कोड़े के निम्न कैलकुलेटर यूज़ मारी बैठा नला इवन सिंपलिफिकेशन स्टेज अली कोड़ा निम्न स्पीड अप आगे दे � आदर इंदा हेल्ता है दिने ये मैथमेटिक्स इन नॉलेज ये नी दे अधि हेगे के अप्लाई आगे तेरे नो तो फिजिक्सल नोटा होता है तेरी बट अदरा बेसिक अल्लाले हेल्दे दर आता है कुदी लांता नाउ सुमार क्लास गड़ा लिट्टो मन बंदी देवे इधर नंतरा वेक्टर्स फिजिक्सल ले इधे इंथेर दिने अदु मोशन इन � the entry to the real physics, real physics and then here three physics, yelli shuru agatthe and thedi dhe, yelli shuru agatthe and physics and re enu, physics and importance enu, yenella kali thiri anno dhanna, brief agi heldta, we are entering to the first chapter, real physics from the next video. Adhre, yelli ukuda, spirit anna kal kodhe, mathematics anna artha agadhi dhalli, kuna video anna vandala yelad sari repeat maadhi, mute maadhi nool kodhta, अर्थात् मार्ग कोलता होगी सॉल्यूशन से ना करेक्ट आगे अंडरस्टैंड मार्ग कोलता होगी मैथमेटिक्स अनो दो टूल अद फॉर्मूला गले रहते अदने हेगे ऑपरेट मार्ग बे कोनो दे रहते अदने करेक्ट अर्थात् मार्ग कोल कल्ट रहे निम्न के प्रॉब्लम ना लेते ना सुलभ आगे अप्लाई मार्ग बंद रहे फिजिक्स हो अधिकार के निम्न बिंगे नर हेली दे मैथमेटिक्स इस दी लैंग्वेज ऑफ़ फिजिक्स विदाउट लैंग्वेज वी कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड ए सब्जेक्ट हाँ गागी लैंग्वेज एक उत्तीला नमिके मैथमेटिक्स इस दोनों रहे फिजिक्स नमिके अर्थात को दिला अधिकार की ना हमारी दंता वीडियो गलो ब्रीफ आगी नमिके स्टड आदरण देने में क्या लोग सिर्फ बोर आगे रह बोलो, बेजार आगे रह बोलो, आदरु कोड़ा नमक करता भी है, निम्न गेन मुट्ठस्पे का उधर मुट्ठी देवे, नेक्स्ट क्लास इंदा निम्न खोगा ते इधर लेवेक्टर से ली मात्रा, निम्न एंट्रेंस से ली कोड़ा क्वेश्चन बरते, हाँगे हाई लेवल क्वेश्चन सेल इधर लेवल थ्री 